coming. Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. You, uh, <clears throat> you said you stole rations? Ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And no rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah. Come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Can you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, finally stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Hold up, hold up. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? Ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Yeah. Depends. On what? Look out! More wolves! I see him! Uh, 
that's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers and timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. And then, uh, to buy time, he landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Wait, get down. A swarm. Near a gravesite. Yeah, this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, well, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Right there with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. But look, are you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being a shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, it's just in this part of the state alone. And we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Well, oh. oh, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? It means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? No, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want.
I saw something. You stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. Last of them. Yeah, I think so. Nice work. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. Okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? He won't know what hit him. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. 
Captain Corey, come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? <laughs> You've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. You know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. How about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, run a sack. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. <laughs> 